This episode of Talking Study Guides is on multiplication. Learning can be fun! If you like learning in exciting and engaging ways, then Talking Study Guides is for you! I'm Mr. C, and let's get started! Welcome! Today, we're going to be learning all about multiplication. I'm going to start off by letting you in on a little secret. Multiplication and addition are longtime friends. As a matter of fact, multiplication is repeated addition. Anytime that you're adding equal groups of things together, you're also using multiplication. Let's check out an example. In my hands, I have some juice boxes. What I have are two rows and four columns. I can think about this as a multiplication problem. I can do two times four, and what I'm going to get is eight as an answer. Now, I'm not claiming to be a juice box pro. I've had many epic failures that have involved juice. I've had lost straws that have never been recovered. I've opened juice pouches in crazy ways. And I've even had juice pouches explode. Farewell, tropical fruit punch. The number sentence on the screen shows us that 9 times 2 equals 18. The symbol in between the 9 and the 2 is a multiplication symbol. It can also be shown as a center dot. Both tell us that we need to multiply. The 9 and the 2 are called factors. Factors are the numbers that we are multiplying. 18 is called the product. The product is another way of saying the answer to a multiplication problem. I want to show you a few other ways to study and learn your multiplication facts. The first one is by using flashcards. This first card shows us 4 times 4. You can think about it like 4 groups of 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Did you come up with an answer yet? The answer is 16. Flashcards are a great way to learn your facts and get a little bit quicker at solving multiplication problems. A group of objects or pictures that are arranged to show math concepts is called an array. The array represents three groups of four. The three represents the number of rows and the four represents the number of columns. Rows run horizontally from left to right and columns run vertically, meaning they go up and down. We can solve this problem by counting the pictures that the array is showing us and we get the answer 12. We can also use the repeated addition strategy and solve the problem by doing 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. One of my favorite ways to solve multiplication problems is to do it by skip counting. Let me show you how to skip count. If I'm trying to find a problem like 6 times 5, I can do it by finding 6 groups of 5. I can skip count on paper or in my head. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I skip counted 6 times 5 to get me to the answer 30. Multiplication is found in so many different places. And to prove it to you, I'm going to take you on a scavenger hunt around my house. We're going to go looking for examples of multiplication. Let's start in the kitchen. The kitchen is a great place to find multiplication, and it didn't take me very long. Check out what I found. Three groups of three bananas. Three times three is nine. Check out the eggs. There's three groups of six. Three times six equals 18. These cupcakes were supposed to be for after dinner, but, Multiplication waits for no one! Let's see what we have here. The cupcakes that I luckily came across show us two groups of four. Two times four 
equals eight tasty looking cupcakes. This is what I call hands-on learning. Let's continue our scavenger hunt in just a minute. No scavenger hunt is complete without letting me show you my secret video game room. It's pretty cool down here, but I also found an example of multiplication. Let me show you. I have some vintage video games. What I have is five rows of three. Five times three is 15 vintage video games. Game on. I managed to find examples in every single room in my entire house. That's pretty incredible. Check this out. Two times three is six rolls of toilet paper. I even found it in the bathroom. I also came across one essential question. Who was the last person in here? Flush the toilets, people! Come on! Learning with multiplication tables is a great way to learn your facts, especially your bigger facts, like six times eight, for example. So all that you have to do is find the six and then find the eight, and you'll find that they meet at 48. In real life though, odds are you're not gonna be wearing a multiplication table shirt every single day. So, you want to learn your facts on your own through repetition, practice, and some of the strategies that we've discussed. Now that you're getting to be a multiplication pro, try these four questions. Good luck! Question one. What number sentence does the array show? Six times two equals 12. Four times three equals 12. Five times three equals 15. If you said four times three equals 12, awesome sauce, you're correct. Question two, how many days are in three weeks? Here's a hint, you need to remember that each week has seven days. In order to solve this problem, you needed to find three times seven. You should have gotten 21 as a final answer. Question three, what is the product of 10 and four? If you guessed 40, you're correct. Question four, if Mr. C makes five baskets and each basket is worth two points, how many total points did he score? If you guessed five times two, equals 10, you're correct. Way to go. I hope that you enjoyed our video on multiplication. Just as in sports, math involves a lot of patience, practice, and dedication. If things get tough, keep at it. And sometimes, amazing things happen. Thanks for watching. 